Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop, your free podcast all about Photoshop, available in high definition. Today, we're going to conclude our series on cropping. If you've watched our last two episodes, you learned how to crop to a particular size using a power crop and how to crop non-destructively. Our last option is called a perspective crop, and it allows us to remove distortion from an image. Here's how it works. Grab the crop tool by pressing C or clicking on the crop tool and choosing it. You then want to crop around the photo as needed. Now, you can float the layer by double clicking first if you want to get a few more options. You want to make a crop that's fairly tight to the original object. Now, if you've got a target size loaded from before, go ahead and escape and click clear so you don't have to follow any constrained width or height. Go ahead and drag the crop tool out around the object that you want to crop. You're going to have to go pretty close to the edges there. Perspective is often an important part of composition, and there will be times that you're going to want those perspective lines within your image where you see objects bending or them at an angle. Don't feel like you have to remove that from every photo. But there will be times when you'll choose to remove perspective because it was unintended or it doesn't fit the need for that particular image. So the first step to doing it is making an initial crop selection that goes around the object. That's what we did here. You see we framed around the church window. I could then go ahead and choose hide, but when I do that, the perspective option is unchecked. So there is no option to actually hide and do a perspective crop, so you'll have to choose delete. Check the perspective option, and now you can move these points individually. So what you want to do is pull that in so it follows the lines within the image. And this one has to come much further in. There we go. And when satisfied, click the Commit button. Now, Depending upon the perspective crop that you make, the image may appear a little bit stretched or squashed. No big deal. You could easily adjust this using the image size command. Image, image size, and I'm just going to switch this to percent. You can go ahead and check the resample image box and then make an adjustment. I will unconstrain the proportions and tell it that I would like this to be stretched to 110%. There you go. The image looks a little bit closer towards the original view when I took it, and that has solved it. A perspective crop is a very particular type of crop, and you're only going to use it when you need to remove distortion from the image. Remember, if you shoot a photo from an angle, whether that be from the left or the right, or above or below, you're going to need to tweak that to get rid of that perspective distortion. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. We've got more than 100 tips over at our blog at rastervector.com. Lots of back episodes you can watch, as well as downloadable tutorials, industry news, and lots of resources. While you're there, be sure to consider picking up our new book, Understanding Adobe Photoshop CS4 from Peach Pit Press. You can use the discount code here, UAP2, to take 35% off from their website. Thanks again for joining us. I'm Rich Harrington.